Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Mahmoud Alode, and I am here to uh, share with you how to find a trade in value for an asset. Uh, uh, one of the things that we deal with in operations management is to find a trade-in value for machines. And in order to do that, we have to do some replacement studies. So we have to find out what would be the machine that we have to replace it. What would be the challenger? We call the challenger and the in-place defender. So in order to find uh, a trade-in value for the in-place defender, we have to have a challenger. And through a replacement study, we could find out what would be the trade in value. Let's take a look into this uh, problem. And uh, this is uh, uh, problem number eight in my uh, textbook, chapter nine. Uh, again, uh, just to double check, yes, it's uh, problem eight uh, from chapter nine, page 155. Uh, for this problem, we're going to find out the trade in value for the current machine. And the question is like this, purchasing a new packaging machine costs $300,000. Salvage value is 114,000 after seven years. And an, an annual maintenance and operational cost are 10,000 per year. Alternatively, the current in-place used machine has an annual maintenance and operational machine cost of 32,000 per year and an estimated uh, salvage value of 40,000 in five years from now. If the interest rate is 10% uh, per year, what would be the trade in value for the current machine? All right, let's take a look into this uh, uh, information and I put them in tables to summarize it for you. So we have the current machine, the in place defender, and the new challenger. One is going to be for five years, and we don't know what the market value is. This is why we say X. The annual cost is uh, annual maintenance and operational cost is 32,000, and the salvage value is 40,000 here. Life is five years. On the other side, the Challenger, the new uh, alternative would be 300,000, 10,000 maintenance and operational cost, and 114 as a salvage value, and it will last for seven years. All right, so for this one, what we need to do, we need to find out the annual cost for this and make it the annual cost for this. Uh, the annual cost for the Challenger, make it equal to the annual cost for the Defender, and we then uh, solve the equation for X. However, this one is easy because all the information is given, but this one could be a challenge because this is an X and, and sometimes we have to uh, use equations for that, not Excel in particular. So uh, take a look into, uh, I'm gonna start with uh, a new challenger here. So what we need to find out, we have to find the annual worth of uh, cost. So the annual worth of uh, the initial cost would be uh, PMT. This is the function that we use to convert it from annual, from the present worth to the annual worth. PMT 10%, this, uh, uh, this uh, asset or machine will last for seven years. And the PV for that would be 300,000. Uh, so once we convert the 300,000, it would be equivalent to 61,000 uh, 621 uh, over the seven years. So this is per year over the seven years. This is what equivalent to 300,000 in a prison format. Now, the other value is the salvage value. We need to find out the salvage value, as you know, this is going to be um, as, a, as a future value. And therefore we have to, uh, we have to uh, do it for, um, we have to do it uh, converted from the future uh, to the to the annual worth. So what we do, we use PMT. Again, PMT function 10% seven years. And we use nothing for the PV per meter here, as you see. So we put comma and comma and the future value would be uh, 114 or we select the cell, which is I have it as a C107 here. So we converted the 114 from future value into annual worth. And as you know, the salvage value is positive. So we should 
keep it as a positive. If you see a negative value like this here, uh, you should do is reverse the function by adding the negative sign, and this will give you the positive value. And now the last uh, number that we're going to deal with is the maintenance and operational cost. And this is given to us as uh, annual. So we're not gonna do anything. It's still the same 10,000. There's no need to convert it because it's already in the annual format. So now we have three numbers. We're dealing with three numbers, annual initial cost, annual salvage value, and annual maintenance operational cost. There's uh, two, two negative and one positive. Add them together. That will give you the total annual worth of cost, $59,605. All right, now let's go back to the current, the end place defender. Uh, again, we have to have three values as well. We have to have the initial cost, the annual worth of the initial cost, which we don't know. We have to have an annual worth of the salvage value, and we have to have an annual worth of the maintenance and operational cost. For the maintenance and operational cost, this is the easiest one. It's already in the annual format, no need to convert it. Salvage value, what we do, it's uh, 40,000 salvage value after five years, and that would be um, uh, same thing what we did here for the 114. We use the PMT function. PMT function 10%, five years, nothing for the PV, and we select the 40,000 <clears> as a future value. And that would give you 6,551. So we're done with two parameters or with two values. And the last one is the most challenging one. We're not sure what to do because this is an X and we don't have a value. But what we know, we know that this is uh, present format. We know the interest rate going to be 10%. And we know this is going to last for five years. So what I, <coughs> what I did here to, to solve this, I said, okay, let's consider this is going to be a $1 value. And just to know what would be the parameter. And if you remember the factors that we used early in the, in the semester uh, with the interest rate tables, if you go to 10% five years, what are you going to get? You're going to get this number, 0.2638. But now, as I've been teaching you that you have to use Excel, what we do in order to find the parameter without using the interest rate tables, consider the PV as a $1. So 10%, five years, and this would be a $1, which is the PV. Okay, this is again what we need to do. We need to multiply it by x because we don't know what's the what we don't know what's uh, the initial cost. So now let's put the equation together. We're going to do the annual worth of the defender, as you see here. The annual worth of the defender equal the annual worth of the challenger. So we did uh, calculated the challenger to be fifty nine. This number right here. So I did put it here. Fifty nine. 1,605 on the right side of the equation. On the left side of the equation would be the annual worth of the defender. And for this one, we have calculated three values. If you remember, these are the uh, uh, 6551, which is this one right here, 6551. And this is a positive because this is a salvage value. We have negative 32,000, which is the annual maintenance, maintain, annual maintenance and operational cost. And we have also a negative value because it is initial cost, uh, which is uh, X times 0.2638. Uh, so now we have minus X times this 0 0.286, uh, to, times 0 0.2638 minus 32,000 plus 65, 51.9 equal to the 59,605. So now it's an equation with one variable, solve the equation for X. Basically what you need to do, add on for both sides positive 32,000, subtract from both sides negative 6551, and that will take care of these two numbers. We'll move them to the other side. And what I did here, if you need to know exactly what I did, I included the numbers in here. So I moved them on the uh, right side. So subtracted 6551.9 from both sides. So that's turned into negative. And positive 32,000 from both sides, that will turn into positive. Now I added 
6551, 32,000, and 59,605 together. That will give you a net. This is where I did it on a side here because I love using Excel, even though this particular example will need, will need from you to use uh, uh, equations. So uh, anyway, so I did add these together. That will give us uh, 34,157. X minus X times 0.2638 equal 34,157. And that's good to be. And then um, and the, now what I did here also is uh, this is, should be, <clears throat> give me a second here, uh, <clears throat> minus. Okay, that would be negative 30, uh, 34,157. And now divide both sides by 0.2638. And that would give you, all right, see here what we need to do is divide that this value here, I'm gonna put it on the side here, this divided by negative 0.2638. And that would give you uh, 1.2. So this is no need for this one here. <clears throat> X equal. minus 34157.32 divided by 0 0.26380. And that would be the answer to be uh, 129,481, the trade in value for the current machine. So what does that mean? I've, I uh, wanted my uh, students to be able to make decisions based on this. Yes, we did find the trade-in value, but what does that mean? That means in order to break even with the new machine that you're going to replace it, you're going to buy it, you should get at least 129,481. So uh, assuming this machine is not going to get you that amount, if you, if you offer it to the supplier said, well, here we go, here's my old machine, uh, can you give me 129,481? Uh, uh, they might say no, uh, and which is uh, most likely going to say no. But eventually what you need to do is you need to make it as a target, as a negotiation point that this is what I want. This is in order to buy your machine. I want at least this amount. Uh, so eventually you're going to go back down a little bit uh, but you're not gonna lose. But again, it's gonna give you a point where you wanna make a decision based on it. Uh, versus again, these most of the machines we buy it like 20, 30 years ago, and now we have no idea how much these machines will cost. So we use this calculation, we use the replacement study in order to uh, exactly you know what's the value and we use it as a negotiation point with a supplier saying, okay, well, I need this amount. You know, if you want me to buy uh, your machine for 300,000, you should give me a reimbursement for this because this is what the machine, and this is basically uh, what's the break even between uh, the new machine and the old machine. So you're not losing any money. But if you, if you, if you go down uh, like to 100,000, this eventually gonna, cost you some money. Uh, with that said, I'd like to thank you. Uh, and please feel free to ask me any question. I appreciate your asking these questions. I'm happy to do these videos uh, uh, all the time. So yeah, please send me an email with your question or comment on this. Absolutely. All right. Thank you.